Where shall we go? What shall we choose? Whatever we do, there's no time to lose. Let's turn the big spinner and I'll say the rhyme. What's gonna happen today on Showtime? Hello, I'm Shona and welcome to Showtime. This is the show where you and I, we get to get messy with arts and crafts. We get to get up and move and dance. We get to go outside and explore, and we also get to learn brand new games that you can play at home with your friends. But there's only one way to decide what we're going to do today. We need to turn the big spinner. Let's go and find out. We all need to say the rhymes, so are you ready? Where shall we go? What shall we choose? Whatever we do, there's no time to lose. Let's turn the big spinner and all say the rhyme. What's going to happen today on Showtime? Showtime? Explore Time! On today's Explore Time, we are here at the Scottish Owl Centre and we're going to explore the world of owls. I want to know, what makes owls different from other types of birds? Is it just that they come out at night time? Let's go and find out. I hope the owls don't mind the cold and the snow. It's freezing! don't just come out at night. Okay. Although most owls do come out at night time. Some owls actually choose to come out at the twilight period, just when the sun has risen and just after it's set, they've got an hour either side. And some owls actually come out in broad daylight. Really? Now the word for a, the word for a, a bird that comes out at night time is of course nocturnal. Nocturnal. Yes. But some owls are diurnal, which means they come out during the day. So it's not just that owls come out at night time, they will come out at all times of the day. So even while you're at school, there could be owls out, out and about, and then while you're at sleep, there's still owls flying around. So not just at night time. Not just, but mainly at night time. They are really regarded as being nocturnal animals. The second thing that people think is special about owls is the sound they make. Mm -hmm. And of course, owls are very famous for making one particular sound. What sound does an owl say? Uh, twit to woo. <laughs> twit to woo. Now, twit to woo is the sound that one particular kind of owl makes, which is the tawny owl. But there are about 250 different types of owl in the world. And the only one that says twit to woo is the tawny owl. We tend to think they all say twit to woo because if we live in this country, then it's likely to be the owl that we've heard. But owls actually make a whole range of different sounds. Some owls actually squeak like a rusty gate. Some owls will grunt like a pig. Some owls will boom like a foghorn. Some owls meow like a cat. Yes. Some owls bark like a, a dog. an angry dog. Some owls, uh, sorry, growl like an angry dog. Some owls bark like a big dog. And some owls yap like a little dog. And there are some owls that croak like a frog, some owls hiss like a snake, and some owls even snore like your dad. So they don't just, do... just go twit twoo or hoot? No, they don't. They don't just do twit twoo. But most owls do have a kind of hoot in their, in, their, in their song. It's actually called the song. They do actually hoot. So could we meet some of these owls? What I'll do is that there are five things I've thought of. There are more than five, but I've thought of five things that are special about owls that only owls have that no other birds in the world have. Mm -hmm. So in order to demonstrate that to you, I'll go and get some of our owls and, and show you them. Excellent, let's go and meet owl number one. So Rod, you're gonna tell us five things that make owls special. Now, who is this owl? And what's so special at him, number one? This owl is a rock, he's a rock eagle owl, or an Indian eagle owl. And two things, Two of the first things that make owls special, you can see in him. The first thing is that owls, unlike other birds, have eyes that look forward. They have eyes on the front of their faces like human beings. 
Most other birds have eyes either side of their head. Here and here. Yes, like a blackbird or a robin have an eye here and an eye there, but an owl has eyes in the front of their face, so they always look straight ahead. The second thing that's special about owls is that their eyes actually cannot move in their sockets. So unlike oh. yours, Shona, you can move your eyes all the way around so like to eyes. the left and the right, but an owl cannot move its eyes. Its eyes always look straight ahead. They don't actually have a muscle behind their eye at so all. So Rocky's they... eyes are just stuck there, whereas mine can move all the way around. Yes. Rocky's are in the one place all yes. the time. He always stares straight ahead, just like that. Oh. So fact number three, what makes an owl special? And who is this big owl? Well this is Sarabi. And Sarabi here is a milky eagle owl. And the milky eagle owl is the largest owl in Africa and the third largest owl in the world. And the third thing that makes an owl special, you can see with her, has to do with how she moves her neck. Shona, for example, how far around can you move your neck? I can move to the left and to the right. Well, as you've been doing that, Sarabi has been looking right the way back over her shoulder. She can turn her head nearly three quarters of the way round, which is much more than any other owl, any other bird in the world can do. So she turns it all the way around without having to move her body around? Without having to move her body, she can turn her head about three quarters of the way, like she's doing there now, three quarters of the way round. Oh, wow. And do you know what I love? That she's got pink eyeshadow on. <laughs> So fact number four, what makes owls special? And what type of owl is this? Well, this type of owl is a tawny owl. This is the one I mentioned earlier on that says twit to -woo. This is the oh. twit to owl. And his name is Hosking. And this is the commonest owl in our own country here. And the fourth thing that I wanted to say is special about owls has to do with their feet. Mm -hmm. Actually, more exactly to do with their toes. How many toes do you have, Shona? I have 10 toes all together. All on one foot. And I've got five on one foot and five on the other foot. That's right, you've got, that's right. Now an owl's a bit different. An owl mm -hmm. only has, you see how many, yeah. let's see how many toes he's got. He's got, on each foot he's got. One, one two, three, four. Four he's got on each foot. Four, which makes? Eight all together. He's got eight toes all together. And on the end of each toe, he's got these special claws. They look really sharp. And do you know what they're called? Are they the talons? The talons, they're called talons. Now that's not completely special to owls that they've got talons because other birds of prey, like hawks and eagles, they have talons as well. But what's special about an owl's toes is that one of its toes, mm -hmm. although sometimes they'll sit with three toes to the front and one to the back, when the owl catches its favorite food, which is... Chickens. <laughs> mice. Mice, mice and rats. When an owl comes to catch its food, it catches its food with its feet, remember? Mm -hmm. And when, when the owl's just about to close its feet, one of the toes to the front moves round to the back. So the toe, toe moves all the way around? Yes, the toe's got a front toe that can move right the way around to the back. Like a robot. <laughs> Why do you think it's got a toe that moves to the back? Is it so it can catch the mouse? It's so that it can catch the mice, and because the mouse is a wriggly creature, the two my, the two two toes to the front stop the mouse escaping out the front and the one toe comes around to the back and stops the mouse wriggling out the back. So it's got it nice and tight. It's a perfect cage trap for a mouse. You're a clever owl. For the, for the fifth thing, the fifth special thing about owls, we'll need to go inside to show you that. So okay, so we'll like go and to, see him flying. Would you like to follow okay. me? So our final fact, fact number five, what makes owls special? The fifth thing that makes owls special has to do with the way they fly, because owls have the ability to fly completely silent. They so, fly without making any sound at all. So no one can hear them. So no one can hear them coming, because why do they need to fly silently? Is it so they can creep up on the mice? Yes, exactly, because the mice have got very good 
Hearing. Hearing. Oh. And if the owl's wings should make a big flapping sound, <gasps> the mice will run away. The mice would run away.、Oh. So the owl comes out at night time where it's、mm. hidden, and they、mm. can't see the owl coming. And the owl flies completely silently,、Silently. so the mice can't hear them coming either. So the owl is the perfect hunter of the little mouse. Oh wow! And what I'm going to do now, we'll demonstrate that、mm-hmm. now, Shona. I'll get you to go and stand over there. I'll put、uh-huh. Hosking over here,、mm-hmm. and we will get him to fly right past you, and we'll see whether or not you can actually hear him flying past. Okay. You. Well, I close my eyes then. You can close、I'll、your close eyes. I close my eyes. And as soon as you hear him flying past、uh-huh. you, you can put your hand in the air. Okay, I'm going to listen very carefully and see if I can hear Hosking flying past me. Okay. Hosking, ho, ho. <laughs> wow! Gone for lunch. Where did he go? Didn't you hear anything? No. Well, if you were a mouse, you would be. I'd be dead. You would be dead. Oh, did you hear that? You know what that means. Time's up. We have to go. I hope you've had fun and enjoyed the show. See you next time to say the rhyme and spin again for more show time. Bye.